you there it is. Ta da! Did you try to look like a raccoon? <laughs> <laughs> Tail? No, David. <laughs> We've discovered that the members of Raccoon Nation are smart, they're hungry, and they're determined. But our job, together with our private sector reinforcements, uh, is to show them that we are smarter. Uh, defeat here, uh, and I think the people of Toronto would agree with this, defeat is not an option. As you know, uh, the Green Bin program has very successfully collected organic waste and uh, we have it turned into compost. Almost 50% of household garbage is organic waste, so we have environmental as well as uh, big cost reasons to want this program to continue uh, to be a success. The green bins become a feast, a veritable feast for the raccoons, uh, and once a free meal is found, they return again and again, and there's probably no nothing that represents more of a nuisance uh, in a big city like this than uh, the feasting of the raccoons on the contents of the green bins. And so the city went out to find a solution, uh, and this is the design of the new uh, green bin that you see over here. We are ready. We are armed. We have used uh, even the most complicated of surveillance techniques, as you'll see, to spy on the activities of raccoons with both the old bins and the new bins. Uh, but we are ready. We are armed. We are motivated uh, to show that we cannot be defeated by these critters. And we now just have to have a few votes at both the committee and at city council uh, so that we can let the games begin. And this isn't a game. If it's a game, it's a serious game. And I think the people are with us on this one, wanting to make sure that we can do a better job of not only taking away their their organic waste, but also making sure that we defeat the forces of the Raccoon Nation that have frustrated us uh, for such a long time.